Okay, so the other day I'm sitting around staring at maps of Japan. I'm not saying I spend all my free time just looking at maps and dreaming, but I'm not saying I never do. I like arbitrary lists of things as an excuse to travel. And I realize that Japan has four main islands. And each of these islands naturally has a north, south, east, and west extreme point. What are these points like? What's it like getting to them? I live here in Osaka, but I'm gainfully employed, which means I have no free time to travel. So it's going to have to be weekends only until somebody starts paying me to travel. If you would like to start paying me to travel, contact me right now. Where to start? I settled on Bisha no Hana, which is the westernmost point of Honshu. It's not famous, no one's ever heard of it. Bisha no Hana is just something to cross off a list. Now I do agree with the idea that getting there is half the fun. Well for this trip, getting there and back is going to be all the fun. I don't drive in Japan, so it's going to be all trains and buses and walking and whatever else I can figure out. Now here's the plan. Fly to Fukuoka, take a train to Shimonoseki, take a bus to this little stop which is called Yoshimoko, I think, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, and then walk about four kilometers out to the actual Bishanohana spot. Hopefully there's a bus coming back and it's really hard to find information about these local buses online. Take that back to Shimonoseki, stay there for the night, and then go back to Osaka. There's a bullet train that goes straight back to Osaka. It takes like two hours, but I'm not going to go direct. I'm going to loop around the Japan Sea. I'm stopping in the middle and staying at a super cheap hotel. Instead of two hours, it's going to be about 14 or 15 hours over two days. Watch the world go by through the window. So it's a bit weird, but I'm excited, and here we go. The airline I'm using is Jetstar. They have a seven kilogram limit on your carry-on bag. This is a super duper no frills airline. That's why it's only $50 one way. I don't exactly know what seven kilograms is, but it's kind of good because it forces me to economize. I actually made a spreadsheet and used a scale and tried to weigh everything so I can make sure I was in the range. So here's what I think I'm taking. The backpack. Everything will fit in here. This will be on my back the entire trip. My diabetes bag. This will have my one drop meter. Open insulin pins, Humalog and Tresiba, and then a backup Humalog and maybe a backup Tresiba. Maybe I'll wing it without it. Two pairs of thick warm socks. One pair of thin socks as a sort of smaller inner layer. Eyeglasses in a case for when I want to look smart. The camera that's recording this. Zoom lens just in case there's something like a nice sunset plus a small island out in the water that I don't know. If I didn't bring this, I'd probably wish I did. Battery charger for the camera. Teeny tiny tripod. My main tripod is about three and a half kilograms. It's only this tall. I don't know if I'll use this at all, but it's super lightweight. A notebook and pen to record things, drawings and notes and things like that. Another little notebook for getting stamps at train stations and things like that. A Goshuincho, which is a kind of notebook that you take to temples to get a special stamp. If I happen to pass any temples and I have free time anywhere, this is just a fun tourist thing that Japanese people do. Kind of a notebook heavy life I lead. My Bob Dylan t-shirt, David Bowie t-shirt, a nice kind of overshirt for the train ride. Where's up? If I figure out where up is, I'll wear these two USB chargers. Thanks to Tiff on Twitter who gave me this one. This might be overkill bringing both of them, but they don't weigh too much. Unmentionables. <laughs> deodorant and a razor skin oil because I like to have a supple face because I'm so beautiful. You'll notice I'm not carrying a toothbrush. That's because hotels in Japan usually provide a toothbrush and toothpaste. Now I have two very cheap hotels. I don't know if they're going to provide it, but I'm kind of hoping so. If not, I'll just buy one. Very small bit of toiletries here. Bottle of juice. This is kind of heavy. It's good for low blood sugar. I always carry this with me here in town. It's under the weight limit, but I don't know if I want to carry it around because I also have a bunch of glucose powder packets, which are probably all I need, really. I don't know about the juice and the clothes I'll be wearing on the first day. All this is probably about five or even less than five kilograms, so I'm still way under limit. It's not just the airplane's limit, but it's also what I want to carry on my back for several hours on the first day. I might take this my Kindle. It's not too, too heavy and I could probably do it. Oh, and also this microphone that I'm recording with right now. It weighs almost nothing. Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh man, oh man, I can't wait to pack and get on this trip. <sighs> Five o'clock, not even light yet. Whose idea was this stupid trip? So that's what blood sugar looks like at 5 a.m. My shirt is inside out. It's a good start to the trip. It's morning in Osaka. 
Other people are awake. I see cars. The bag I'm carrying is not too bad. I didn't take the Kindle, so it's probably only about four kilograms, maybe, maybe five. Traveling light, that's the only way to do it. All right, I'm here. Where's the train? Everybody's sleepy and they're going to work because it's Monday morning, but ha ha ha. I'm going to the westernmost point of Honshu and I'm getting kind of self conscious talking to myself here. The train. No, I'm not the only person going to the airport early on a Monday morning. These people are doing it too. How do you know you're in an airport in Japan? Yeah. Boarding pass. It's getting real. Well, I got through check-in and the uh, security clearance in like three minutes. I didn't have to be here quite this early, but nothing like hanging around the airport early in the morning to really feel like you're doing something and not doing something at the same time. I'm going somewhere cool, but not yet. See the plane though. train lines are, I don't know where the platforms are. I have to run somewhere. I've got like maybe five minutes to figure it out. This will be impressive if I pull this off. Did it. So far, after sprinting through the station, I'm here looking at the scenery. Shut up. I'm here looking at the scenery in uh, this area. It's not beautiful so far, but I'm on the correct train that I plan to be on. That's amazing. Yeah, that's right. So far, so good. Here's Moji. Time to go find my connection. I got a few minutes here, but I should probably get going. I've come upstairs to find my uh, correct platform, and it turns out I was already on the correct platform. That's the kind of mistake that makes you miss your train, but I'm okay. Here comes my train. I would be more excited, but I'm kind of hungry. major part of the uh, trip is finished here at Shimonoseki Station. The first leg is done, kind of. Hopefully in a couple hours I will be at the western point of Honshu, the first lunch. I would also like to point out that so far everything has been exactly on time to the minute, to the second for all I know. It makes it easy to travel around Japan when things are like that. There are many buses here, but none of them seem to be mine. How wrong of a place am I in? This will right itself eventually if I keep wandering and looking confused. Okay, quit worrying. I found it. Platform number three. Here's an area map. My point is on it. However, it's just mentioned. It doesn't have a special number on this little tourist map. This is not a touristy place. I'm glad to be going there. Now it's lunchtime. Walking around looking for a place to eat, I'm overthinking it. Most burger. Duh. Hey, you want to see something cool? Check this out. I can charge my phone while I'm watching the buses come and go. I found out that when I sing in Most Burger, people next to me look over at me. But they don't actually do anything. You didn't see nothing. I pre-booked a hotel here in 
Shimono Seki on booking.com. Look at this hotel, the Notre Dame. Very grand. I mean, this isn't my hotel, but, but look at it. This is my hotel, the Smile Hotel. I think it's a happier place, if merely a large box. But hey, it's right in the shadow of Great Shimono Seki Tower. I hope I have time to go up that tomorrow morning. Blowfish, aka Fugu, is a big deal here in Shimono Seki. And they make the most of it. Here's some. Here's one atop a phone booth. The good thing about traveling is that sometimes, usually, things work out. They gave me a plastic bag with my donut. I usually bring a plastic bag when I travel for dirty clothes. I forgot my plastic bag today. Just innocently bought a donut and they gave me the bag. And I have a donut. Something for the trail. It's here. Now I get to sit on this for an hour or something. Blowfish. There are only three people on this bus besides me. The route just started. I bet you by the time we get to the end, I'm the only one. I don't know why I think that, it's just a feeling. Check it out. I found it. The water. And here we are. Yoshimoko. Just like it looked on Google uh, Street View. Except now I'm here. Now the thing about this is, uh, I did sort of forget to do a little bit of research. How to walk from the bus stop back there to Bisha Nohana. I saw it on Google Street View a couple weeks ago, very, very briefly, but I wasn't really paying attention, so I'm not sure where to go, but nah, I'm sure I'll find it. Okay, I believe I found it. I think, I mean, I think I know where I am and where I'm going. That's what I think. The weather out here is pretty perfect. Forecast said it might be raining, then it said it might be overcast all day, but it's perfect. It's quiet out here and there's just fields here. It's all very green and yellow. A couple of pieces of good news. One, there's a sign here that says Bisha no Hana, so I'm on the right track. The other thing, it says 2.9 kilometers, which is a little less than um, Google Maps told me, which said 4.4 kilometers from the stop. So I think it's closer than I think. We'll see what happens when I get lost. Listen to the sounds out here. Well, 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 rounded a corner and look at what we have here. Water. I think I walk along the water, if I'm not mistaken. Probably mistaken, but hey, so far so good. It's a little bit warm out here. halfway now and this is as good a time as any to confess to you that I didn't really research what Bisha no Hana means. I know Hana is nose so it's some kind of nose like the, 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 the nose of the land but I don't know the Bisha no part. Shut up. This is a weird place. So hopefully when I get there I can research that on the phone and explain it to you. If I don't then I can't and if I can't then I won't. If I won't then I won't then I don't then I don't. I don't mean to be recording this. The road continues here. I think I have to climb over this mountain. This is gonna be the hard part, I think. Okay, now I'm about halfway. 1.5 kilometers. Whee! Just a little rest for a blood sugar check. The first since my hamburger and fries. Hey, I'll take that. The road is relentlessly uphill. Getting narrower and narrower. There's a cool bamboo forest over here. I think I'll eat that donut now. Crushed and mangled in my bag makes it more delicious. This isn't easy. Almost there though. And look at the scenery. Construction equipment and a fence covered in ivy and stuff. Gosh. And here we go. The actual gate into the Bisha Nohana little recreation area. I made it. The west end of the mainland. I would like to take this solemn occasion to tell you something very special about this trip. Um, 
I think it's best to tell you in song. In a western town and dead in world, the eastern boys are western girls. I don't know the words. You just stand there. No matter where you go in Japan, you're never too far from a drink machine. Oi o cha, 150 yen. Well, it's not easy doing this with a camera. Looks good, but this isn't really it. There's another 200 meters before we actually get there. Let's go, just down this path here. Murder in the West End. Who's that suspicious looking character leaving the scene? You come up the hill, suddenly, there it is. The West End. You know what this is? It's a smartphone rest. So here we go. Cheese! Okay, I did a little more research. This character means help. This is sand. The nose of help sand. I don't know what that means. I guess this little jut of land, or nose of land, it is kind of sandy, and uh, it's helpful because it guess it helps people somehow. If you're a ship lost at sea, maybe this is a helpful nose of sand. How is this place helpful? Also helpful, they saw me coming. The north, south, east, and west points of Honshu. Of course, I already knew about them because of all my nerdy research, but here's a cool map of it. Makes it much more official. You know, humans are funny things. It's quiet here in Bishanohana. The only sound is the wind on the water. The trees blowing in that wind. The earth and the sea together. It's a very spiritual place. And all I can think of is, just you wait till I get you home. Got no future, got no past. Here today, built to last. Every city, every nation, lake, something, 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 something. When you come here, you'll have your own spiritual awakenings. Mine seem to revolve around the Pet Shop Boys, which for me is basically a minor 1980s memory. I like them fine, but I don't really know much about them. I mean, I don't know why they would be in my head. I mean, why me? What have I, what have I, what have I done to deserve this? Gah! You bring the mic, you use the mic. Well, it's nice and all being here. Now I've got kind of a conundrum. The sunset is in a little over an hour from now. I could wait here, try to get some nice pictures of the sunset, because, uh, it might be nice, it might not, actually. It might be too cloudy, but I bet it'll be nice. But then I'd have to walk home in the dark along that crazy little winding road with all the big trucks and everything. Or go back now and just uh, call it a day. Just saw the only two people that I've seen since I came up here. The two guys came up here real quick and then they left. And here comes somebody else. But anyway, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Do I want the sunset that bad? Zoom lens, just in case there's something like a nice sunset plus a small island out in the water. Okay, that was nice.
It's a bit colder now, but that's okay. The thing I'm more worried about is the darkness, because the road I walked up has no lights at all, no lines on the road, no nothing reflective. I don't have anything reflective on. I'm wearing a shirt that's the color of the forest in the night. Let's see how far I can get before it gets completely pitch black. Hopefully I can get out of this little mountain part and actually make it down to the sort of the... Well, that's not a better road either. The good thing, I guess, is that it's all downhill this way. You know, Japan does have bears, and Japan does have bear attacks. I don't know if there are any in this area, but if I remember my field training correctly, if I just walk along and sing Pet Shop Boys at the top of my voice, the bears will be frightened off. It's also gotten quite windy. I hope no bamboo falls on me. Although that would be a cool way to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I got a ride. Cool. Sorry, what's your name? I'm Hiro. Hiro? Yeah. Thank you to Hiro. I don't have to walk to Yoshimoko and take a bus to Shimonoseki. I have a ride to Shimonoseki. This is great. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Free ride all the way to the front door of my hotel. That guy was super nice. Now, let's go see if they have my reservation. Hotel is here. I'm in it. Everything's good. The hotel room check. One of the best kinds of checks. After all that today, what could it be? Oh, man! Do you need any more proof that travel is the perfect thing for anybody, especially diabetics? Look at this. Look at it. I said, look at it, look at it. <laughs> All right, I found a place for dinner called Ajian. And this is the Ajian set. In the classic style. It's a little bit of everything. What's that? Chawamushi. Some fish, some uh, tempura, some uh, noodles and stuff. Well, this is this little elevated public area here in the middle of Shimonoseki. This is it at night. I wouldn't say a whole lot is happening, but it's very pleasant. Too bad there's no people around. So there's not much to this town as far as I know. There is this cool tower though. You know, the more I see this tower, the more I think that's got to be tomorrow morning's task. Get to the top of the tower, by hook or by crook, before the big train part of the journey starts. I'm walking around waiting for the moon to come up, trying to take photos of it. And I gotta say that in Osaka, people tend to walk on the left side of sidewalks and walkways, things like that. And I walk the same way because I've lived in Osaka for about 120 years. Well, here, people seem to walk on the right. And they need to get out of my way because they're cramping my style. People need to adapt to me when I come here, you know what I'm saying? Nerve of some people. Mayday. The moon's coming up. But look, they turned the lights of the tower off. Has Shimono Seki thwarted my plans? Rent my schedule asunder? Oh my god. The pachinko parlor's still all lit up. Why can't they light the tower up? It's fun walking around Shimonoseki at this chilly kind of evening, trying to take uh, pictures and video of the moon and the tower, because there's this big overhead walkway that just winds all around, all around the station area. It just goes on and on and on, there's all these twists and turns, but there's not many people out here. There's very, very few people, very few cars. Not a happening town, not like Osaka is, but that's why I came here. It's different than where I'm from. I'm glad I like this walkway so much, because the escalators are chained off. How do I get off of here? I'm trapped up here all night, wandering around the walkway that I like less and less with each passing second. I made it down, but where am I? This isn't anything. A town that shuts down at 10.30. I started to turn the lights off up there. Go back to your hotel, little man. You're not needed here any longer. Well, the moon didn't really work out, but it's been a very fun day here. Trip's only a third over. There's a bunch of trains coming now. The part that appeals only to me. But it's still a challenge, catching all these trains, making all the transfers. Where's my hotel? 
One more check to see how that big dinner and extra chocolate did. Oh, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Good night. morning in Shimonoseki. Now this is not the most expensive hotel in the area. Maybe things like that are why. And the first blood sugar check of the morning is... It should be about 133 based on the glucose I had last night. 106. Things are going well for me. But that's before the buffet breakfast. It's everything you need. Vegetables and meats and eggs and breads. Fish and wieners. Salad. Tofu. Coffee. And yes, I'm even having some delicious natto. Because I'm hardcore. It's bright. Hotel toothbrush. Told you so. Not sure I'd recommend the hotel razor though. I think butchered me. Uh -huh. All checked out. Going to that tower now. See if it's open. I believe it cost 800 yen to go to the top. I don't know if you can go all the way to the top. Let's go find out. If you don't read Japanese, and I don't really, it's kind of hard to understand this sign. All that's clear is that you can't do something. I dig these outdoor escalators that start when you step on them. Stairs or escalator? Well, as long as they're providing the service. Ah, I feel refreshed. I'll thank you not to be looking up my nose. There's nobody else around here. I'm having my doubts that this thing is open. That says adults, 600 yen. Foreigners, adults, 300 yen. It's open. Okay, here we go. They tell me I'm the first customer here today. I'm not thinking about earthquakes. I will confess that I'm terrified of earthquakes. I think about them every time I enter a building. I'm very sensitive to any sound, any creak in any building. As soon as I hear a I think the big one. Now up here, I've felt a few shakes and heard a few creaks, and I've realized that it's just the wind hitting the top of this tower. Still, it's making my heart jump every time. I was starting to regret bringing my little stamp book, but hey, Look what I found. Pure Japanese badassery. All right, here we go. Back down to the ground floor. what the internet said, but this may be the correct bus. Some bus. Okay, that was it. The bus back to the station is over there. I don't know the schedule because I don't feel like crossing the road to find out, so I just have to see what happens. Now the place I'm going, Kozanji, is a temple, Kozan Temple. I never heard of it before this morning. 
but I want to get a stamp in my special little stamp book and only the bigger temples have that. I don't know where I am. I'm going to walk this way. So I just went to Google this morning and typed in Shimonoseki Temple and this is the big one that came up. It said it's a national treasure, so I assume it's big enough to have stamps. This is nice over here. Ducks and fish living in harmony. I guess I'm not the first American to come here. Look, Michael Stipe was here too. Here's the first real confirmation besides Google Maps, which I don't trust, that I'm on the right road, Kozanji. Scenic Kozanji. Will you not come inside and see if they have stamps for me? People ask me why I stay in Japan so long. It's because people with big, bald, round heads here are worshipped as gods. Look at this place. Never quite seen anything like this. Green mossy ground that's very flat. A blood sugar check in front of the great temple. What is it? I can't see. 242. Breakfast strikes again. This is tranquility itself. I'm glad I'm not still singing Pet Shop Boys. Oh no. In a western town and dead in one I didn't look up the lyrics Don't know what they're saying I'm gonna get thrown out of here if I keep singing here. This is the way to walk back to the bus stop area according to Google Maps. This is not nearly as nice as the canal route that I found, which is one block over, but I'm going this way just because I want to see something new, even if it's not as nice. New is always best. I think it goes to the station. I didn't really check, I just jumped on. I don't know soon enough. It was correct. All right, I'm back at Shimonoseki Station. I got about an hour and a half until my train. That means first lunch and then hanging around. What's for lunch? I don't want to go to Most Burger. I just went there yesterday. Where, where, where? Ah. KFC. Colonel. Well, it's been good here. I've done everything I wanted to do and more in Shimonoseki. And I can't believe it, but the trip is not even half over. Now is the train part. I don't actually know what to expect with any of these trains, really. I don't know if there's going to be like two seats facing forward, like I like. Or if it's going to be bench seats, it's going to be hours and hours sitting on a bench seat. Not doing research is part of the fun. <sighs> Just me and the pigeons. The pigeons are telling me I gotta go. Alright, I'll see ya. Whoa, listen to the pigeons. I think that's how that song goes. What do you think? She's sorry. Goodbye to the land of blowfishes. The 1344 to Nagatoshi. Track 9, let's go.
call me hard to please, but how can there be this many drink machines and not a single one has even a single bottle of carbonated water? I mean, what is the deal? What's the deal? forward-facing seats. I'll be on this train for a little over two hours. And we're off. Goodbye, Shimonoseki. I hope I'm still this excited after four hours of this. It's not beautiful yet, but I'm sure it's going to be any second. Good job, camera. In other news, the Pet Shop Boys are out of my head. Now it's I'm in love with my car, my queen. I don't know why, but I'm enjoying it. The radio in the head. Getting a little better. Green at least. Mountainous. Anyway, back to Queen. After this station, we're going to ride the coast for a little bit, a short, short while. And then suddenly the train turns inland, like a hard right turn. I don't really know why, but we miss out on the extreme northwest corner of Honshu. Not interesting, just something that I know. Nagatoshi, right on time. And the next train's in like 20 minutes. So I'll just hang around here for 20 minutes because I can't leave the station. And one imagines there's not a whole lot to see around here anyway. That's the train that's gonna take me to Masuda. All one car of it. I bought a little cake thing for snack and I just bought a hot coffee. So I hope this train has forward-facing seats, give me a little privacy. And it looks like it does, but I don't know if there are any that are free. Free seat, a little privacy for uh, checking blood sugar and taking a shot and eating. Unfortunately, it's not on the ocean side, it's on the houses and trees side. But hey, this is why I came, just to see what it was like. Oh. He's saying, if you're even thinking about eating on this train, you got another thing coming, mister. It's all in the hands of the colonel now. Yeah. Two hours sitting on a train, not a lot of exercise. That'll happen. <laughs> Got dust all over me. This is a travesty. It's raining a little bit. I see rain on the front window and I see rain on that side of the train, but on this side of the train, no rain. One of them isolated storms. Soon it will be dark. And it won't even be this guy. Somebody got off, so I get to move over to the other side of the train. That's the only news that's been happening lately. Oh, and I put a piece of gum in my mouth. Two pieces of big news on this train. person on this train besides me and the driver.
this is news. This is Esaki Station. This is the final station in Yamaguchi Prefecture. The next station will be in Shimane Prefecture, and it'll be my first time ever in Shimane. Here it is. This gigantic complex here is Inoura Station, the first station in Shimane. I've made it to a new prefecture. Huzzah! I'm here, Masuda Station. The train was supposed to arrive at 6.09 p.m. I was watching my phone. I swear it said 6.08 as we were pulling in and stopping. The door opened immediately when my phone turned to 6.09. Amazing. Anyway, that was fairly boring, but here we are. Let's go find the hotel. As usual, I don't really know where my hotel is. Wish it was that hotel. That one's easy to find. Well, there's certainly nothing around here for dinner. I keep complaining all the time. Only one thing for dinner around here that I can see, Lawson, it's a convenience store. Let's see what they have. I know what they have, the same thing that they all have. In Osaka, we just cut across the road wherever we want. Let's see if that works here. It's an odd intersection, I don't really understand it. That probably means I should dart out in front of some cars. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, hurry up. See, the trick to life is making the tiny little unimportant things dramatic. I have crossed the road. That's about what's gonna pass for entertainment here in Masuda tonight. And some awful food. Well, passable food. At least it's warm. Well, here's what I found for dinner. It's not the worst thing. Kind of a curry and rice with stuff in it. Yogurt with maybe apples or something. Some vegetables, a beer, and a little piece of chocolate. I also bought a couple things for breakfast, and then as I was coming in, the guy downstairs told me that uh, breakfast is actually included, and he pointed to this nice little breakfast room. I'm gonna have a bunch of junk to carry onto the train tomorrow. Mmm. All right. This room was about $35 a night. It's okay for tonight, but I think next time I'll just pay double or whatever and stay at like a nicer place. But the Japan series is on. Go Hiroshima. I've got my geniusing glasses on. I've been doing some geniusing about the trip tomorrow. A uh, slight change in the itinerary. I can't talk with these glasses on. So instead of taking five trains, I'm going to take a series of three trains, which will shorten the trip. It'll still take me across the uh, Nihon Kai. It's better this way. You must adapt. Shower's done. Not sure I'm doing this robe thing right. This is what they gave me. I feel like I should be settling down in my cap for a long winter's nap. And if there should arise such a clatter, I shall spring from my bed to see what's the matter. Final check of the day. After that big convenience store meal is... Oh, it's about what it feels like too. So what happens when you don't get any exercise all day? I should, I should wear this wear on the train, train tomorrow. tomorrow. When some people snore, they're not playing around. It's a good thing I'm tired. I hope I snore louder than he does. Good morning. Slept okay. Kind of noisy. Sometimes the snoring woke me up. I'd say it's about 170. Let's go see what's in this breakfast. I've almost woken up. The breakfast buffet is all right. Interesting, kind of similar to yesterday. Healthier than the convenience store food I was eating. Something weird with the uh, train ticket last night. When I got on the train, originally at Shimonoseki Station, I used my prepaid train card. When I got to this station, Masuda, they said, oh, we don't use those cards here. You know, it's the same company, JR West. So they had to fill out this like piece of paper and get all these stamps and signatures and stuff all over it. And I paid him cash for that part of the trip. I guess I'm still in the system on the card, but I actually left because there's no card machine at this station. Something like that. He said, where are you going tomorrow? And I said, Osaka. They're trying to explain something to me I didn't understand. 
and finally I said, oh, I understand, just so I can get out of there. But I have these pieces of paper taped to my card. Anyway, the point of this story is that there's uh, some nonsense about the card, so I hope this goes well and they let me on the train. Taking into account the fact that I have a very weird itinerary that nobody else ever does. And the final train of the day, I need a reserved seat. Do I buy it here? Do I buy it there? Who knows? Not bad this. Seats are soft. A slight bit more comfort than yesterday, I think. And it's early morning, so I think I can see more of the ocean today. Very good. Butchered myself shaving again. Not the razor's fault this time, just the fact that I use thin, cheap soap as uh, shaving gel. Oops. The train guys here, I better straighten up. <laughs> and we're off. Oh no, we're going backwards. I got on the wrong side of the train. I gotta find a new seat. All right. Nice day out today. Bobbing of the train is making me sleepy. Doesn't make for compelling video, maybe, but it's nice. Sometimes something fun happens, like you go across a bridge. It's called the Aqualiner, and there's the Aqua. Sort of. And there's the tunnel. station called Izumoshi. A bunch of people got on the train. Nobody sits with me though. And I saw a place that sells tapas. You know you're in a big town if they can get tapas. Lake Shinji. I never heard of it, but it looks pretty cool. It's a big lake on the map. Another big city. Didn't see any tapas, but I saw an art museum. Okay, here's the situation. Getting to my stop, I have three minutes to change to the next train, where I'll be for an hour and a half. I have to pee. There's no bathroom on this train. I don't know if the next train has a bathroom, but I have to figure out where the next train is, where the platform is. Make the transfer. That can usually take a minute or two. Am I going to have time to pee? This is a difficult conundrum. Hopefully we can arrive early, but that never really happens here. You're never early, you're never late, you're always on time in Japan. You're always on time in Japan. You're always on time in Japan. So, what's gonna happen? We are in G a couple minutes late, and he is taking his sweet time to approach the station. I'm not worried about being anymore, now I'm just worried about missing the transfer. And I can't do that because I've already paid a hefty price for the reserved seat on the next train after that. You're going so slow. This isn't good. Quick dart across the platform. Definitely no time for peeing. You're always on time in Japan. Totori Liner, and we're leaving two minutes late. I will never brag about Japanese trains again, and now to hold it for an hour and a half more. Also, it's lunchtime right now, it's about 1 p.m. I knew this was gonna happen and I wouldn't have time for lunch. Here's my genius plan. I'm going to eat the donut and banana and bag of walnuts I bought last night. Sort of an early lunch, and then when I get to Totori Station in an hour and a half, I'm going to buy a proper lunch when I'm sitting on a proper train. My blood sugar is probably about 240 right now. I'll check it and see. I haven't had a proper lunch yet, and I'm not 
able to sit on the C side of the train. I'm on the other side. It's actually kind of cool here because of this mountain. But I just strolled around this little train and I found out something interesting. <laughs> there is a little bathroom tucked away in the back. Who knew? station. I arrived on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have about 20 minutes before I go find my next train, which is supposed to be like a nice comfort train with uh, reserved seating and maybe food and drink service. I don't know. Maybe it's not that nice. But anyway, it cost a lot. It should be that nice. I'm going to go find me a little box lunch to eat on board. The trip is basically over-ish. This is just the last slog to Osaka, down through the heart of Honshu. But it'll be a nice comfortable way to end the trip. Let's go find lunch. I got my uh, sort of lunch. Um, really enjoyed my three or four minutes here in Totori, but uh, all good things must come to an end. Let's go to the cool train. We're off again. The final train of the trip. Today is Today Halloween, is after, after all, all. And, and that's the that's scariest the thing I've seen on this whole trip. trip. Or a team. Here's my theory. Most of the shots on the trains and stuff here have been in my stomach, which I don't do much anymore because I have too much stomach fat. I think the insulin didn't really get absorbed that well. So I just uh, went into the bathroom here, took a big Humalog shot into my leg like I usually do because I don't have much leg fat. I'll probably absorb better. I'm not eating that meal I bought. I'll eat it for later for dinner. I'm just having two small pieces of chocolate now. Just as an excuse to take a shot. Ooh, that's a bad way to end the trip. Yikes. Well hey, these things happen. Osaka Station, I made it. It's been a very good trip. Got everything done that I wanted to get done. I saw the Bisha no Hana. I rode the trains all around the Japan Sea. Now I'm back in the big city. Big crowds of people around. And I think it's rush hour. Rush hour in the city. Welcome home. All right, back home. Let's have us an unpacking. Diabetes and insulin bag. A map of Masuda. Which I didn't use, but I always like to have a map. A little flyer for the temple I went to, some omiyage for friends and co-workers, half my box of chocolate because I ate the other half for lunch today, the dinner I haven't eaten yet, I should put that in the refrigerator, my blue notebook which didn't really use for anything, toiletries, Ooh, it's open, I wonder if anything fell out, tripod which I, I did use I think, the extra lens which I definitely use, glasses which I didn't really use, Dirty clothes and a donut bag. I'm kind of partial to this one. Camera charger. Didn't need these extra inner socks. Wasn't cold enough. My other notebooks, both of which I ended up using. iPhone wire that is frayed and decayed. I bought a new one for a dollar along the way. Mangled leaflet for the Kaiko Yume tower that I went up. Didn't use this USB charger. Oh yeah. I swiped one of the toothbrushes. My passport, which I brought in case I needed it for the airplane. Nobody ever asked me to show any ID at the airport. But both hotels said, can I see your passport, please? And I said, well, hang on a second. And I pulled out my Japanese identification card. I said, well, I'm a resident. <laughs> and in both cases, they went, oh, 
Oh, sir. Oh, oh, thank you very much, sir. No regular traveler you, sir. A bunch of receipts. I don't think I'll keep these, but I'm going to add them all up. I calculated the trip would be about 31,000 yen plus food. So maybe 40,000 for the whole trip, which is around $400. I've got more too. Got more on the back. Train receipts. The USB charger that I did use a lot. All right, that's it. Now, there's basically two types of people in the world. People who just get home like this and go, ah, nice to be back. And people like me, and maybe you, who say, well, I'm back, let me see a map. Where else can I go? What's the next trip? Can I do it this weekend? How much would it cost? Can I go, can I go, can I go? And I can't do it every day, because I have to work. I can't stress this enough. If you would like to pay me to travel, get in touch with me. We'll work something out. This is what I do. I guess I'll go put some of this stuff away and eventually have dinner. It's nice to be home. The moment of truth. Am I below 200?